All right, guys, we are back. Map number two of this best of three. We're in the round of eight of the RGN European Intercontinental, or this is the European region, rather, and we're live at a pistol round again. This is my XMG's map choice. They're choosing to rush into this B site. We'll see if it works out here. Site will be able to get one, but Frag's going all the way of the T's and Force in a 1v4. This is looking like a great pistol round pickup from my XMG. I am Sprawl. By my side is Bonk. My virtual side, of course. Only we would be uh, one together. But no, Get will finish the round. So, pistol round picked up by my XMG. Yeah, that was a clean strategy there from XMG. I mean, I know it's just a B rush, but it's really all about positioning. It's not just like rush into the site and get the kills. It's where they put their players. Solid execution, making sure that Vent's covered, making sure that Heaven's covered. They had a guy close in sight who took out one, but there was a three-man hold on B. They had one in checker, two in sight. That should have worked out to Agent's favor. Instead, they just got overwhelmed by the firepower from XMG. So XMG picking up the pistol round yet again, and they're going to go right into the second round here. Get with the 5-7, a nice shot on Ultra and mid. Interesting, he's not opting to pick up a rifle, probably trying to save up for the AWP. Meanwhile, Nevis is going to go down, so that's going to make it a 4v4. And Get is very low on HP here at 12 because he picked up that pistol. He took a duel in mid and couldn't necessarily find the shot. But I still give the nod right now to XMG as they have the rifle and grenade advantage. One kit on the CT side on Syphy seems to be the man they go to when it comes to buying defuse kits. Not really sure why. I like that play, though, boosting up Get. He's only got a pistol, so he gets dropped, and there's not a rifle just sitting in uh, in that boost spot. So, And he gets a frag on top of it. And now they're going to take this A site. And Forrest was able to get one into NKY. So this is actually a close 2v3 as, yeah, we see Gimpin very, very low. Get on 12 HP. Sinx is pretty much not the only man alive, obviously, but he's got to come up big here, and thus far... We'll be able to get one frag. Nay, though, does have an AK-47 in hand. He will spot out. Get, get with a huge frag, though. What a shot. And that is going to be an expensive round for my XMG, but definitely could have turned out worse as that was a close retake. Yeah, that was excellent play there from XMG, and Agent had a solid retake. They came down to a 1v2. Natho had an AK in hand. I thought for sure that Get was dead to rights. He was peeking the angle perfectly, and Get using one of the most uh, unreliable rifles in the game, I'd say, when it comes to pinpoint accuracy, the Galil, and manages to find that head. So a nice shot from him to polish off the last man standing for Agent. And now it's going to be another eco here for Agent. Natho goes down early to an aid from Get. Gimp in there with the help as well, so now it's a 5v4, and that opens up the B-bomb side, as I believe they stacked on A. So XMG just gets the sight handed to him, they're gonna go for that plant. Siphon Sinex polish off Get, who pushed a little bit too aggressively. Another grenade kill on the round as Gimp and Get combined yet again for a kill on the Sinex. There's just too many nades on this key side of my XMG. It's now a 4v3 retake here. And pistols across the board, no kits. They're gonna need to move soon if they want to do anything. Oh. Scythe is gonna flash out. Here comes the push. Ultra in heaven gets, oh, gets mowed down by Sinks. There's a man over by Generator. That's Scythe. NKY actually taking out Sinks. So a little bit of team damage there, but not really gonna hurt the money side of XMG. They are sitting pretty healthy on that uh, in that part of the game. So Agent not necessarily uh, a terrible eco. They put a lot of eggs in the basket when it came to that A stack, and it didn't really work out. They were able to pick up two, though, thanks to the team damage from NKY. So, a bit unlucky for XMG, but again, their money is looking very good. Yeah, great position here. Force with an AWP, and he's peeking from Z. He's though realizing mid control, very important. Gimpet already inside of the vents, drops into checker. One of his buddies goes down, but Nay, though, on 1 HP. If he goes down, this is a massive opening, but we will see Gimpet get dropped. So in a 3v4, again, Nathan will finally get dropped. So that's the opening they're looking for right now, the bomb on the Viz. And uh, he's going to post up inside of the site. He's going for the bomb plant here. NKY, this is a big play from him. He's on the flank, and Naviz was in the exact same situation last round. Can he get a Let's get one of his if and put some damage onto that player in heaven. And actually, they were able to get that frag. So Cynix in a 1v2. This is the first rifle round, and Get picking up that frag. My XMG, they are off to an excellent start, and 
it could be uh you know a situation that you could talk yourself out of an agent being that if this was map number one you're down four rounds like all right guys we're fine here we're fine don't worry we're gonna come back in but this is map number two they're on the favored side and they're down four rounds this is not the situation agent wants to be in at all and uh, i'm hoping for the sake of how close this map might turn out that uh, agent hasn't their counted uh hasn't counted themselves out and uh, they are going to keep in here, but already my XMG kind of stuffing this eco round strat. Scythe, though, comes up with one. Now you can see why XMG picked this map. They feel very confident on the T side. They're already up four to nothing, and it's an eco round here from Agent. It looks like XMG is going to clean it up as it's now down to a 4v1. Synex with the Deagle and Scythe's going to try and spot out NKY. And was fortunately not able to find a shot, NKY taking him out. So now 5-0 for XMG, and that's pretty much the bare minimum for the T side on this map is five rounds. So if they can keep adding to this, that's going to be big. Meanwhile, though, the money on Agent is looking pretty good thanks to the loss bonus. They got an AWP on Force and Natho picking up the Scar. And not typically a gun you see on cash. I'm interested in where they're going to put that because usually, you know, you see that on maps like Inferno where you solo hold or on Dust 2, but not, I don't think I've ever seen them pick it up on cash before. And where is he going to position? Right now he's in Z. I was expecting some sort of spam through uh, that uh, the kind of metal grate in the mid warehouse, but not going to be the case in an opening on this A site. But May, though, showing why he picked it up. We'll get one from Truck. This is a 3v3. NKY coming up huge, though, as he's still in mid and again with another frag. Put this man away. He's got 7 HP. Nay, though, will peek out and goes oh. down. What a 4K. NKY just holding mid and uh, another round. My XMG, the, it's, it's not even like these are that close of rounds, to be honest with you. My XMG is making some mistakes, and Agent's just not able to actually take advantage of them. Um, NKY should have gone down there, but uh, holds mid and a 4K for him. Yeah, I don't know why Natho even peeked that. I mean, he's got the Scar 20 in hand. That's Without a scoping very expensive either. gun. I mean, there was no reason to peek it. He had 7 HP. He wasn't scoped. If you're going to peek that, you know he's mid. Peek it, scope, pull out your pistol. You know he's late. Your teammates are telling you why he decided to peek with the unscoped Scar and just gifted to my XMG is beyond me. And I don't know if they picked it up or not. It looks like they left it on the ground, which is wise play because really the SCAR-20, even though it's a really viable gun on the CP side, it has zero value to a T because you can't really push with the auto sniper. It's really good for holding angles. So if you die and give that back to them, that's a huge loss for your team. Agent not looking good already here in round number seven as Force is going to go down. They got three FAMASs on the board, Nathan, Synex, and Ultra, the only rifle or solid rifle on Siphon. He's already off the board, Gimpin with a nice headshot. No hits yet again from Agent as they're trying to do what they can with this sort of Force buy here. Nathan's going to go down to the AWP of Get, and now it's a fine. This is looking like it's going to be a clean sweep here. The only man in A, Ultra, dropped by Gimpin, and now in mid. Cynix is getting taken down by Sinks. He's going to have to try and run with this rifle if he can. He wants to try and hold on to it because he knows how bad the money situation is on Agent. Finally finding a kill and getting it off as well, but he is going for peaks, and this is not what they can do right now. They need to try and save that rifle, hold on to it for the next round, but we've talked about it before. Cash, not exactly the best hide-and-seek map. Gimpin's going to take him down, so seven straight rounds for XMG on Cash. Yeah, on the T side of cash, that is painful for Agent. And my XMG, they, they've been able to work the picks every round. Like we saw there, it was more like Agent just falls into the hands of XMG. They 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 just pick their angles, and they're like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna play this for the early round. And every time, Agent seems to peek right into them. And uh, right now, they're going for a mid stack, and a force gets one get for the frag though. So a one for one trade and. Where did Naviz go down? He went down into a position that, no, they're not going to be able to. They're going to try and get that weapon. That's what Force was going for there, but it's dropped in the process as they are not having it. Ultra, though, gets a pick onto Gimpin as he tries to exit out of Squeaky. So 3v3. We'll see if this works out, but the Terrace opting to slowly head over to that B site. Unless Ultra makes it all the way up into heaven, uh, there's going to be no CTs waiting for this. 
He does get up into heaven with that AK. He's going to be able to let them know that they're here. He's going to spot these players out. Should get two. And he does. NKY and sinks down. This is falling apart for XMG here in round number eight. Ultra with the wall bang shot. Thanks to Scythe doing a bit of damage to get. So the first round coming for Agent here in round number eight. And I'd say at this point, they just need to win out. Take this 8-7 and hopefully build up a really strong T side. Otherwise, they could be losing this 2-0. XMG just looking so good on the T side of cash right now. That's the first round that I've seen even get close for Agent to take. Yeah, and it was a little bit of chaos that uh, prompted at least that first frag just rushing up mid. And being that they have weapons now, they still work aggressive or not so much. Get opening up that B site means that uh, Nato is about to be tested here. Forti is about to come out and check her, but he goes down. And only puts 50 damage onto Sinks. So he needs to do a little bit better than that as the site should be easy for my XMG to take care or rather hold control of. All the CTs trying to work from CT side. We see an AWP get going down or an AWP frag rather. Scythe on 13 HP will move up into heaven, and they're just gonna try and force the issue here, but all falling. Scythe gets two, but will go down shortly after. So my XMG, they turn around and get that round right after Agent pick one up. And we all know what that means for economy. It means they don't got very much left, and the CT is the only reason we're seeing that they are able to pick up any weapons, like they've got three decent weapons on the field this round, is because they won on that eco round and they were able to get some weapons for free. Yeah, absolutely. That definitely boosts their money. I mean, you're still going to see some 5.7s on the board for Force and for Synex. They have P250 on him, 5.7 on Force. They got some rifles, Scythe and Natho, but right now the big thing, the reason that this map is going the way it's going, Natho has been holding B, from what I recall, and he is at 2 and 8. He's just not been taking the duels that he needs to take. Right now, though, things are looking okay for Agent as Scythe spots one out from Vents. Nevis is going to respond and take down Natho, the man that's really been struggling here for Agent. And they're making their way into that B site. Gimbit's going to spot Scythe pushing into Vent, but Scythe gets the duel, so now it's a 3v3 here. Agent pushing through the smoke on Upper, and if he would have found that shot, that would have been big, but he's going to take taken down by Sinks, and now it's on Forts here. 1v3, and I would think that he's going to try and go for this. At this point, they're down too many rounds to try and save rifles. They just need to put their, their round number up on that scoreboard, and they can't really give XMG anything. He is sitting back deep, and... I think that, you know, a few rounds ago this would have made sense, but right now you're down 8-1. You don't want to give them 9 rounds, or any more for that matter. You cannot just gift them this. You have to go for it. You, you have to understand that if your economy is broken, it doesn't matter. You, you need round count at this point. And he will be able to retain that rifle. Uh, there was a kit I was checking around. He did have a kit in checkered if he did opt to go for it, but chooses to get that rifle, and uh, that's one of those situations where... You definitely need the round, but how confident do you feel when you've already been decimated in those 1v1 duels? Never mind a 1v3. So I can kind of understand, but at the same same side of the situation, definitely they need that round. And now we see Force, the only one with some equipment on the field. He doesn't have a kit either, so no kit on the CT side for this round. He's going to get aggressive, though. So moving up squeaky, Ultra, though, might get tested as... We see the bomb and two other terrorists in a main get peeking around with his AWP. He's been very, very good thus far, and Sinks takes down Ultra. They're not going to uh, miss that check. And now Force will be able to get a freebie as he pushes out a squeaky, but the bomb heading onto this A site. This is going to be pretty rough. Yeah, absolutely, and Force is going to go down oh. with Gimpin in A main. He tried to flash his way in and ended up landing on it. There's those weird sort of steel... I guess you call it like a, it's a piece of the floor. I don't even know what you would call it. He catches grenades like crazy. NKY is going to take out two. Natho and Synex are down. Scythe finds the head of NKY, but he's going to get dropped by Get. Get aggressive over towards Truck. So 10-1 right now. XMG looking amazing on cash. The last time I saw a team do this good on the T side of a map was Dismay versus Aftershock on Nuke. And that was just a complete yeah. obliteration. Yeah, it certainly was, and uh, although this is not necessarily the same super CT-sided situation that we saw in that <laughs> Dismay Aftershock one, um, still, my XMG being on 10 rounds, this is 
a round count where you should never be able to get that on this side of the map unless you're really pulling out. It's it's not that they're not doing really good strat. We're seeing some good T side play here, but definitely agent. Um, they, they're, they're going to be going back to the drawing board after this one and looking at some some of their mistakes playing this map. Uh, Cynics will be able to open. Get goes down as well, so my XMG, they're 1v1 peaking there, and Cynics wins both those duels. Still has 67 HP, so that's a good spot for him. But uh, the bomb's situated near A. We've got uh, Force and Ultra. Can they come up big here? Force has been able to get some frags, but Ultra... On four frags, not exactly the same scenario, and they completely open up the site. So Nado and Cynics in a 2v2 where they definitely could make something happen. But uh, if only they had a nade as Naviz is on 4 HP. And I love the complete disregard for that player in uh, Forklift. I don't know if you saw that. XMG just ran right past him and said, we know you're there. We're just going to, we'll wait for you. We'll come back. And uh, it definitely worked out as they stormed the site and caught that guy a quad box off guard. So a great round there for XMG. And they're going to go up 11 to 1 on the T side of cash. Yeah, that's uh, it's a beautiful scoreline. My XMG, they've got to uh, be very happy as to... They, they may have thought this might be a close match coming into it, but as we can see, not exactly the case. If you look at previous scorelines of my XMG versus G play and then public versus Asian, you'd think that these these teams would come in and have a pretty close affair, but not going to be the situation as Agent, they will be able to get one frag. Maybe though will have his name on that, but completely free A site as all of the egoing CTs have opted to rush up mid. So now, after plant situation, post plant setup for the T's, this is gonna be rough if Agent wants to take out this round. But Gimba goes down with a nice start. They're gonna pick up Get as well, Natho finding that AK. They're gonna peek around Fort with and they shouldn't be able to drop this player in sight. That was in the vid, but not able to find the shot from the P350. Ultra does finally take him down. Now it sinks 1v2, and he's gonna get dropped by Sif. So Agent finally putting a round on the board here. If they can get this defuse, it's gonna be close, and I don't think they're gonna get it here. Bomb is gonna blow with about a second or a half a second left. That is so, so painful. That is unfortunate for Agent. They had a great eco round, and they're going to get punished by not being able to get that defuse. So, I mean, that's the nature of CS, right? They got on that bomb as fast as they could, but, I mean, a half a second more, and they would have been able to take it. Yeah, that one uh, that one might even be all she wrote, to be honest. Uh, if I'm Agent, that is the round where it's like, okay, guys, we just went on an eco momentum swing, hopefully. But even that, you're kind of lying to yourself in some respects, just trying to hopefully be optimistic. But the Force will be able to open up that round on the get. Tries to boost up. So Agent showing that they are not done. Gimpin spamming into Squeaky right now, hoping to connect with Ultra on site, but nothing as of yet. So the bomb is right outside the boost spot. It's out of A Maiden. They've got Sinks looking to get a pick up here as well. So Force on the other side of White Box might be tested here once again. He's scoped in, though, at a crouching angle where he's just looking towards mid main. So he might not spot these players, but we do see some flashes coming out, and they will be able to get across that boost. So now. He's with mid control. Where do they go? This is a great situation, though, as they thought the bomb situated right outside of B. Nay, though, opens up onto Gimpin. So with 3v5, my XMG, if they could pull off this round, that would be uh, pretty huge for their confidence. But already, they've got a huge scoreline on that B side. Yeah, Agent looking pretty good here in the final, or in uh, round number 14, but, I mean, XMG, they've done what they need to do. They're up 12-2. Yeah, 12 12 rounds. I mean, 12 <laughs> rounds on the CT side is really good. 12 rounds on the T side, it's almost a joke. You know, you don't expect to see that kind of score. Now, I will say this. We've talked about before how Cash is one of those maps where it's very even, but based on the, the, the team play mechanics and who you have matching up against each other, that can easily swing into a T-sided map. It, it's such a bizarre map, the way that it's laid out. You can see 12-3 CT scores, or you can see 10-5 T over CT scores, and and it'll still be a close game. It's a, it's a very unique map, that's why I love watching it, because every time I watch it, I see something different. I see the map play out in a different way. And even though they might be using the same strategies, it just it seems to be a map that almost changes 
to the teams that are playing it. It's a very bizarre thing. It's a very strange occurrence. Right now, though, XMG up 12 rounds. Agent not really looking like they have much for cash. So I got to give the nod to XMG at this point. They're just playing balls to the wall, so to speak. And they're up 12-2 on cash. And it's, you know, it's just looking really good for them. And here we see them taking this A site. It is 3v2, which favors the CTs. But once this bomb gets planted... Will be a good spot for these T's to be in as now Siphon Cynics coming from a highway force with an AWP from Truck Sync peeks out with three HP, gets one. It's all up to get. And now playing from the smoke, he gets one, but will be traded upon. So a third round for Agent. But uh, is it enough? I, I have a hard time saying it would be. So switching over to that T side. This is going to be a little bit rough for them as definitely a CT sided map in my XMG. I've seen them be pretty strong on the CT side as well. So I expect they're going to close it out fairly soon. But Agent, definitely, they pick up pistol, anything is possible. And uh, we have seen the occurrence where randomly maps will become T sided when traditionally maybe they're not uh, supposed to be that sided. Yeah, absolutely. Any, I mean, anything can happen. It, it, you watch competitive Counter-Strike enough, you know that strange things occur all the time. You know, I've, I've mentioned it before, that matchup between Nip and Cloud9 on Nuke, where the map suddenly became T-sided on Nuke. I mean, a map that is not T-sided in any way, so anything can occur. But at the same time, you know, just based on what I'm seeing from these teams, XMG just looks so polished and so solid on their defense and their retakes and their, their holds. I don't see Agent really being able to put much of a dent in that. The pistol round in the last half, XMG just obliterated Agent. And I'm kind of thinking we're going to see the same thing. It's not a matter of aim or a matter of being bad players. It's just that XMG is very structured as a team and it's working out to their benefit right now. Exactly. And pistol round live. We're going to see Agent up for an A play. Six picks up the first. Naviz with the second. And they will be able to... Take down Sync, so bomb being planted, but they haven't actually cleared out the site. We've got, well, they've cleared out the site, obviously, but Forklift, we've got Get. Naviz still at the boost. Box is right outside of main, and NKY opens up onto Sync's and Nado will get one, but this is looking like a good situation. Good retake spot. Nado in a 1v3. He comes up with one frag. They tap the bomb. They're going to try and force the issue. NKY will put him down and being that Gimpin has a kit my XMG will pick up this second pistol round things are looking a little bleak but I did want to uh, mention our giveaways once more guys OP skins hooking us up and if you guys don't know what OP skins is opskins.com uh, it, it is basically a website where it allows you to sell your skins for real money but in a very safe environment so obviously uh, we've all heard those horror stories of trying to get some real money for the skins you've won um yeah this is this is a place where you want to check out so check out uh obviously their steam groups for our minimal wear cyrex giveaway if you guys join rgn steam group as well as op skins you will be entered into that, and we'll be doing that for the way today. So, Cynics will open up the round onto Gimpin as opting to at least the start of the round, moving towards B. But now that they have the pick, they're actually opting to head back mid and get. We'll have to retreat into the vent. So, mid control now for the T's. Where do they go with it is the question. And it looked like they were going to press the issue towards Z Connector. Nev is shutting that down, and they're falling back out of mid, going towards A. And there is one man on site right now. That is Sinks. There's one over by Truck and one by Z, so this could be an easy rotate for XMG. Get is in a decent position. Sinks gets the first one. They're going to peek around the box and take him out. So now it's a 3v3. Get in strong position on the E box. They're a bit of an unorthodox place to peek, but gets the frag nonetheless and makes it. Now a 3v1 as he polishes off Sinex, gets the other one as well. Nate, though, is down. A great retake, retake from Get there all by himself. So that's going to be 14-3 to for XMG. It's going to put Agent on an eco. Obviously at 14-3, they're going to try and force up, prevent overtime if possible, and try and mount a comeback. So, again, XMG just looks so good on this map right now. I mean, you can say they did decent on Dust 2, and they did. It was a closer game, though. Even though the round score doesn't necessarily indicate it, there were a lot of close rounds. I haven't seen that on this map. 
It, it, like the rounds that XMG are, is really winning are just they're they're shutting Agent down. T side and CT side. It's been pretty one sided the entire duration of the map. And that just goes to XMG. This is their map selection. You can see why. Scythe is gonna take down Get in mid. They got very aggressive on that mid control, and that is the name of the game on. Uh, Cash. Gimpin, though, with a kill on Synex over towards B. Holding down Checkerboard. They're going to boost Invent, which could be a big play, but Scythe takes out NKY. Doing that boost happen. Naviz peeking through Z Connector. Able to find Force and take him down. Natho still sitting in mid with the Scouts, trying to find the angle, but can't get it. So they're going to opt to push towards B right now. Bomb is in sight, it looks like. Actually, no, Bomb is actually jumping into vents. I was looking at the map backwards. Still, though, Bomb making its way towards B. Nevis gets the first one. That's Natho down. Trading out there is Scythe, who's able to find a head of Gimpin and make it a 2v2. Scythe low on HP. He's down to 9. He's got the 3k on the round. Ultra trying to hold him, and he does help a little bit, but Scythe is just going big right now. 4k on the round. He's going to try and pick up that ace if he can. The last man standing is Sinks, and he's dropping from vent right now. He's going to peek around from checkerboard, and Scythe knows exactly where he is. Tries to flash around the corner, not able to find it. Sinks hiding just in time. Sinks pushing out towards pit right now. Scythe really wants to get that ace. He's holding the angle from from uh, Generator. Ultra, though, stealing the ace from Scythe. Scythe's probably a little bitter about that, but Scythe, a great play. The 4K holding off defeat for now, taking it to 14-4 for Agent. But I, I, you have to say at this point, it's just a matter of time before XMG gets round number 15. And yeah, we'll see uh, what kind of pistols they go for here. It looks like Gimpin up in to get a deagle. Obviously, a rifle round from Agent. They're trying to keep themselves in this map. They're going to be boosting up mid right now, so trying to take control here. Viz falling back from Highway. Leaves Get all alone, and from Sandbags, he peeked out to get some information. He's surprised to see that mid control already for the tease. Gimpin will get one. That Juan Dig onto Ney, though. With the bomb heading towards his A site. He's going to test Sinks, and with the USP, he gets one. So now in a 1v3, Gimpin has an opportunity for a beautiful highlight reel here. <laughs> we'll see if he can get three with the Deagle. Holds that angle, tries to get force. Misses that first shot, but uh, this is definitely something he'll go for. It's not like he's got very much to lose in his Deagle in hand, but we'll go down to the Boosted Up Ultra. So Agent with another one on the board, five rounds. But uh, they would have to come back with 11 to win this map. My XMG now on a bye. We'll see if they can shut this down as, again, it's been a pretty convincing match for them thus far. You know, it's not saying that this comeback can't happen. I just base it on what I've seen. You know, Ultra, or not Ultra, Agent for that matter, has not really shown me a whole lot to say that they're capable of the, the comeback here. On the other side, though, XMG has just been so good that I can't see them letting the comeback happen. We're going to see him duel in mid early. Sinex taking down NKY and get forces there to drop the biz as well. The only frag right now, Scythe off the board. Sinks from A is going to take out Sinex pushing around towards white box. So it's a 3v2 now, and there is a man in the B side. He's going to have to hold it down. He's going to have to come up big. He came up big on Dust, too. That's Gimpin. Gets the first frag, but Molly rains out into sight. He's going to get down to 66 HP. He's just going to sit around the edge of that box. He's going to spot out the barrel and take him down. So now it's a 1v2. Sinks pushing in towards heaven quick here. He's got the M4 in hand. He goes for the peak. He's getting very aggressive. And he goes down to ultra. My guess is what I'm seeing from XMG right now is that comfortable lead confidence. They're up 14-6, 14-5 before the last round, so they know that they have this huge round advantage. They're going to get cocky and arrogant. They're going to peak. They're going to take duels they don't need to take. That can definitely play against them, but because they're already at the 14th round, they only need one more to guarantee overtime, one more after that to get the win. They can afford to make those kind of mistakes. You just can't do it too many times because you can let a team come back on that. You can break your economy or give the other team such good economy that you can't break it, and then ultimately you're shooting yourself in the foot. So they need to be careful. They can't get too overconfident on cash, even though they are really good on it as uh, from what we've seen so far. And opening up this A site, we're going to see uh, some action for Agent Get gets one, though. It is with another, leaving Gimpin once again in a 1v3, where at least they're taking the frags. They've gotten two in this round. If they can get a third on the My XMD side, they can, again, keep that economy from getting out of control. Already we see Agent 
They don't have a lot of money being that even the rounds they pick up have come down to close player counts. So now Gimpin puts up Squeaky Door, but Ultra on the other side here will be able to put down Gimpin through the door. So some Randy spray and uh, 14 to 7. Half the score is Agent to my XMG. So definitely a heavy round advantage, but I imagine in this round, at least I'd hope to see my XMG just kind of go back to taking these a little bit seriously. Like you were saying, we've seen some kind of peaks that they haven't been going for uh, regularly just because they're, they're feeling confident. But uh, we'll see what happens here. A lot of boosting and mid control from the T's, and that's where we've seen a lot of these firefights kind of break out and actually Agent getting the better end of them in these last couple of rounds. So at the moment, it's only Get holding with an AWP in mid. A little bit less mid presence from the CTs, but again, from the T's as well. They've boosted up Scythe, but he's opted to uh, just hold that position. Now peeking over and uh, Force with an AWP peeking out mid as well, but they haven't gone for that quick mid take like they have previous. Yeah, and it's a really slow round so far. NKY is uh, sitting in a strange position here in pit. I imagine he's his back turned to prevent the flashes coming in. He's going to smoke around the corner on B. Right now, the mid control from Agent definitely working to their favor when they've, they've taken mid control. And I think it's just XMG just kind of letting them have it a little bit too much. They've already got a man in fence. That's Ultra. NKY getting aggressive on B takes down Natho, but Ultra with the response there in connector or in checkerboard for that matter. There's a man on site. He's going to have to come up with some big frags here. That's Gimpin. He gets the first one. That's Ultra. Get with off is going to connect on Scythe. Synex polishing off the bit with a nice headshot. Gimpin gets taken down by Force, who pushes it around towards Generator. So now it's a 2v2. Force on 21 HP. He's got the op holding down the angle on upper. He should be able to spot this player out, but he needs to get that bomb planted. His time is expiring here. 14 seconds left on the round. So get and see with the retake here in round number 22. Get with a nice off shot onto Force. And now it's a 1v2. Cyanex is going to have to come up big here for his team. And get finds the shot. So 15 rounds, the round that we knew was inevitable eventually. Round number 15 for my XMG is going to guarantee at least overtime for them. And potentially the victory. The money on the T side of Agent is still pretty good. So they're going to be able to buy up here. Not going to have any problems with their economy. Especially after getting the bomb plant there. So... It's not going to be an easy victory for XMG to say the least, but it definitely looks like this is going to go in their favor. Yeah, and I'm not really sure why Force opted to take that peek from sight. He boosted up onto the box hoping to get a pick, but in a 2v2 working a crossfire, uh, definitely maybe could have played that a little bit better, but being that the scoreline weren't at, maybe they counted themselves out. Hopefully not, but at this point now on match point, this is looking uh, looking a little rough. My XMG wanting to close this out as we've seen a minor comeback from Agent, and it's definitely minor as only seven rounds. Get opens up the round as Cynix tried to boost up, drops down mid. Scythe now doing the same. So we'll see if he can make anything happen. They're trying for mid control once again, but at the moment, Get is locking that down. Two early frags here for the CTs, finally returning fire. But get with a triple kill, and it's all up to Nay, though. He's in a 1v4. He keeps his team in this upper bracket, but being that that nade oh. is sent out from get, and a 4k from get, he ends up